Welcome back. It's still The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Yes, of course, we're now talking today in history, focusing on events that happened this day in history. And I'll be going back to the year 2010. On this day in history, February 19, Tiger Woods uh, did a press conference and he apologized to the world, apologized to his wife, especially the golfing community, for extramarital affairs. Uh, well, before this apology, tabloid papers had run stories about his cheating scandal. And this story really rocked his career. Um, before that, I think a few months before that, he had an accident that had him hospitalized for a while. And when this news broke out, several brands that he was, you know, that had endorsed him, that he had deals with, began to, you know, disengage from him, pull out from him. And uh, the story was just so terrible. It really rocked his career. It rocked the news at that time. Uh, Tiger Woods cheating scandal. Mm. He eventually, you know, after trying to deny this, family calling people to say, don't grant interviews to the press, mm -hmm. you know, let's keep this in-house. You know, the story, the story broke out and he couldn't deny this anymore. And he had to issue a public apology on this day, February 19, 2010, to his wife, you know, apologizing for what, you know, his extramarital affairs had cost his family. So I did get a hold on transcripts of the apology of how he was, you know, apologizing to his wife, saying he was sorry for embarrassing them, so saying sorry for his selfish behavior. And he, because at that time, the stories basically alleged that his wife had hit him, alleged that his wife was being unfaithful to him as well. But he came out to clear his wife of all accusation, saying she had been graceful all through and that she deserves praise and not blame. He said, quote, I knew my actions were wrong, but I convinced myself that normal rules didn't apply. I never thought about who I was hurting. Instead, I only thought about myself. This is me quoting Tiger Woods' statements this day in history. He said, quote, I ran straight through the boundaries that a married couple should live by. I thought I could get away with whatever I wanted to. I felt that I had worked hard my entire life and deserved to enjoy all the temptations around me. I felt I was entitled. Thanks to money and fame, I didn't have far, didn't have to go far to find them. I was wrong, I was foolish, and he kept on apologizing and apologizing to his wife, his family for all the hurt and embarrassment he had cost them. Uh, but at the end of the day, four months later in August, Wood and his wife officially divorced, and uh, they had two children together, and his wife reportedly received a hundred million dollars settlements from that divorce. So that's what happened today in history, uh, February 19, 2010. Tiger Woods officially apologized at a press conference for his extramarital affairs. Tiger Woods practically went through a whole lot. Uh, but it, it is really, really uh, encouraging to, to note that uh, after all of what he went through, he was able to still uh, pick up the pieces of his life and bounce back yet again. Yes, eventually played again. Mm -hmm. I think he tied in the fourth position yeah. you know, at that golfing match just about mm. two months after that apology yeah. was issued. I was actually very, very interested in the fact that uh, he actually owned up to um, having done wrong and uh, he manned up to talk to his family, to his wife, uh, in as much as uh, it went south, but then... The fact is that he owned up to uh, being the yes. man that he should be. Yes, indeed. Mm. Apology. Very, very important. Yeah. So I should yes. apologize to you when I say when I do you wrong, shouldn't I? Yes, we all should apologize. In as much as we are not married. <laughs> all right, also in history today, 1913, uh, uh, Pedro uh, Lascurena becomes president for Mexico for 45 minutes. Now, this is the shortest term to date of any person as president of any country. Okay, Pedro Los Carin, uh, Parades was a Mexican politician who served as the 38th president of Mexico for less than one hour. And they tell, less than one hour. Whoa. Uh, the shortest presidency in the history of the world. I wish I could just be president for just, even if it's just 30 minutes. Let me just change uh, <laughs> Nigeria for once. <laughs> All right, uh, he had earlier served as Mexico's uh, foreign secretary for two terms and was the director of a small law school in Mexico City for 16 years. According to sources, uh, Pedro served uh, ranging from 15 to 56 minutes as a president. General Victoriano Huerta overthrew Madero. Uh, he was one of the people who convinced Madero to resign the presidency while he was being held prisoner in the National Palace and claimed that his life was in danger if he refused. 
In addition to removing President Madero, Huerta uh, had the Vice President and the Attorney General removed in order to give the coup some legitimacy. Now, Los Karen was uh, forced to resign the presidency in just under an hour, which made Huerta president because his new uh, position was the next in the line of succession. Only a few days later, Huerta and Madero and Pino Suarez were killed. Well, this period in Mexican history became known as La Decena Tragica. Mm, my Spanish is becoming better. Or the 10 tragic days. Now, Huerta even offered a position in his administration to Lascarine, but he refused and returned to being a lawyer. Huerta called a late night special session of Congress, and under the guns of his troops, the legislators endorsed his assumption of power. Aneta, what would you do if you were first? female president in Nigeria for just 30 minutes. For just 30 minutes, what would I do? You know, yes. this question is very dicey. They ask people all the time yes. to put them on the spot. Mm. But if I were president for 30 minutes... You get all the makeup in the world. No, no, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. There are lots of things I would love to do. I mean, just the kidding. security issues. Okay. I mean, when I, when I walk down the streets and I see homeless people mm. on the streets, it touches my heart so mm. bad. I have intentions to, okay, now this seems like I'm campaigning for presidency for the next few years, but really, you, but to, to answer your question, really, if I were president yeah. for 30 minutes, lots of things I want to do, like, I would like to create a shelter for homeless people. Well, that's nice. A social program that makes sure that people, kids, kids would never be on the street. They have no business on the street. Yeah. They should be in schools. True, they should be true, learning. True. They should be in workshops. They should be acquiring technical skills, getting education. Because I mean, like we discussed about Okonjo mm -hmm. just imagine she never had access to education. Probably she would be somewhere maybe in one village. Do you understand? So yeah. because she had access to education, that's why she was able to climb the ladder to where she is now. So I'll make sure that people get so free, free, edu accessible yes, free education. Free education, housing, housing should be free. Yeah. I'll give people free free housing. These are basic social issues. If are you government sure you're not related to the late Jack <laughs> Really? These are things I've actually written down that I want to do, so help okay. me God. If we're able to tackle key social issues, jobs, yeah. housing, education. Other issues of security and all that, they will automatically take, their, take care of themselves. Because ultimately, uh, if people stayed in school, their, their minds would be renewed and they would not uh, want to take up one uh, or two social vices. Indeed. But, but for this particular issue today mm. in history, it was a bit more dicey because mm. the pre there was a man who wanted to overthrow the government yeah. and he, he planned with this lawyer mm. to be in power for, for just a few minutes. And when this guy got into power, he now, you know, had that guy resign, so mm. he came into power. So everything was just planned, basically, and he was president for 45 minutes. The shortest By term the way, ever I would always history. support you. If you're going to be president for just 45 minutes, I'll like, go Aneta, go Aneta. Go Aneta, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yes, that's basically what happened today mm. in history. Uh, this uh, Pedro Luzcarin, the man who was Mexico's president for just 45 minutes, and then Tiger Woods giving an official apology for his extramarital affairs. So we will now take a break here and return to discuss a big issue of Nigeria exiting recession. What does this mean for the average Nigerian on the street after this break?